And look at this, sir. Look at this. Look how dressed up I got for you tonight. You see, I had a guy that, uh, we have a Sassy Lion, which is a, you know, the Lion's thrift store next door. And they had to fill a bag for $5 last week. And some guy who recently died is the same size as me. So I got three suit jackets. <laughs> you know, it's pretty good. Now look, he looks I mean, amazing. It doesn't it? He's just tailored to you. It's I know. Amazing. <laughs> I hope I get to wear them for 30 years. I put on my special red runners for you. Then it will be yours. <laughs> You'll grow into them by then. You know, I just did, did a little check. I put on 25 pounds. I lost 11. Did you? Yeah, but you needed to. I did. I lost Lucy. That's from being on the on the boats for so long and just having a, a life of luxury. I like gotta live. I gotta lose eight more. Eight more? That's good. It's good to be. Uh, I I think that. Yeah, you know, I'm worried by me putting on 25 pounds. It's not, in all of my life, you know, not you know, for 69 years I never got to this height, mm -hmm. this weight. So all of a sudden to have that happen makes me wonder if maybe something's not right. So you start changing your diet, you start doing the things, buying slimmer clothes. Black is slimmer. Black is slimmer. <laughs> Black is <here. laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here we are tonight at the Duncan Showroom for those that are tuning in and those that are going to tune in at a later time. My good friend Rodrigo Figueroa Figuero from Figueroa from Figueroa. Yeah. Hey, you just left last night. <laughs> anyway, uh, Rodrigo had this interesting life change. In, in, uh, and having met Fabian from Argentina, yeah. I did, from Anzangados, that band. And recently, he stayed here for, for about a month or so. And you get to know him, and you, get to, and you realize that, that all those, like Chile, Argentina, all those places down there, when you guys were learning about music, you weren't learning the traditional style of music there because the like rock and roll has taken over the world. So a lot of the music that you learned and you played from was as a young kid, like you would be in Canada, wanting to play the stuff that we could hear, which was on the radio. So I find it as, yes, don't play that, please. No, no, don't play that. We'll get disqualified. They'll cancel us. That was the first song that I learned. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I went note by note. I, I did. Oh. Well, those three aren't in it, but anyway. Oh, it is. We, we can't play it in here, no, really? You can, well, no, because the copyright, they'll shut it down. Oh, Maybe they may have already shut it down. Oh, <laughs> That's how strict they are. <laughs> oh, God, this leaves us with it. Yeah. Anyway, Anything so else part, that of the <laughs> part of the situation I'm getting to is that having been in Canada and having you know becoming a music teacher, you know, because uh, the more you know about a guitar and, and playing, the more you have the advantage of being able to show the younger kids coming up, right? Mm -hmm. And it was then when he started discovering his own roots in the Chilean music. So he's been able to take almost a, a newfound, well, newfound. It's been twenty some odd thirty years, right? But it's newer to your life's. It was later on in life when he discovered the Chilean roots, and now being able to apply that to that early stages of rock influences mm -hmm. brings out a whole new something that's very unique to Rodrigo in his style of playing, that takes you to another country but allows you to stay somewhat in a familiar territory, and that's a phenomenal thing to be able to do, and that's um, why he's here tonight because I want I want <laughs> you to play some songs, <laughs> and we want to take these because. We're going to do our best to make sure that the southern part of the island knows who this guy is. I know they know up who he is up in Campbell River. And by being on the boats, they all know about him around the world, but they don't know about him in the Couch and Valley yet as much as I think they should. Yeah. I, I, you know, I've been on the ship five years now, so when I'm back on break, I usually play like two or three gigs around town where I live in Campbell River. Mm -hmm. That's it. Well, we've we'll been trying to we get you down to 39 days of July a lot. Sure. Over the years. Matter of fact, we're going to sign a contract tonight for this year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away on the boats. 
But anyway, you're going to enjoy what he does. It's, 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 it's a, as you're listening out there, it's a, well, do listen. If you're watching, you might as well be listening. Sit back and go for the journey. I think you'll enjoy it. Rodrigo Figueroa.
play you one of my favorite songs.
gonna play the last song for you guys. Um, it's gonna be
Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Thank you, Tim. And company. And my biggest audience here, thank you so much for coming tonight. And I'll be back for more. <laughs> thank you, guys. Stay out.